Hi guys, so I just wanted to quickly show you some of the new kits that I'm working on and um, get your input because I'd really like to know what everybody thinks of the layout and the artwork and what do you think? Does it look good? Do you think anybody's going to like it? Um, that kind of stuff. So I have these. I'm going to show them to you. I have August and September done. I'm working on October, November, and December as well, but those aren't ready yet. And then I've got a few little pile of new little script stuff and some icons that I've been working on. So I'm going to go through these really quick and then I'm going to use the August monthly kit um, in my book so that we can, actually it'll be the first time I've ever used it, so <laughs> we'll find out together if it's going to work or not. But anyway, let's start with August. So August is called Beach Babe and I have a monthly kit here. So this is for the monthly page. And I did notice that if you're really, really opposed to using the EC brand, um, I believe according to a bunch of people that do this like all the time that these will fit the recollections planner and then there's that plum paper planner that these are kind of the same basically the same size and if you have to do any altering it's like very 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 tiny so hopefully these will work out but of course when I spent hours and hours and hours and hours formulating a kit something happens and now nobody wants to use that brand anymore but I'm going to still use that brand not because I um, condone anything that happened but because I have already invested a lot of time and money in this right here and so I'm gonna finish out my planner that I have already and then I will pick up some of the new planners and see if I need to make any alterations for the other brands so anyway just getting that out there right now so here's the monthly it's called Beach Babe and I kind of have this nice little tropical scene here. So here's the full boxes. Here are some of the half boxes and then the little um, headers. I love the colors of these. Here is your cover with your days of the week, the numbers and some more of the headers. And then I did a washi strip um, page with all of the different things. And then I made a <laughs> washi's with, I don't know if you can see that very well, Pip in it, <laughs> since I wanted Pip in there, so there she is. So that is the monthly page. It's not super huge because I have a lot of these to kind of go with it. I didn't want to go too overboard on the monthly, especially if I'm going to be changing brands. I don't really know what's going to fit. So I didn't do a sidebar because I tend to like to use these for the sidebar anyway. So here is the monthly kit. Let me move this one. Same artwork. I've got Pip here and all the little various things to go with the kit. I don't even know what to say. Here's the bottom washi and some dots here. Got flags, days of the week, and half boxes. Like I have to tell you. I don't even know why I'm telling you this. So this is the notes page right here, that sidebar. I love the way this came out. Um, I've used it already once with my July kit and I love it. I love, love, love it. Got all of my little deco here and then my canceled this is something that I forgot in the July one, so I put it back in. I knew I had something in there that I had designed, but of course left out. Here's the weekend banner, the other thing that I left out of the July kit. I got it back in. Here are some of the scripts. Let me know if there's something else that you think should go in here that you um, think I'm missing. Here's some of the little icons for all of the stuff, and I colored them all to match the kit. Here are some small washi strips to go as well. And then we've got another full box page here. So you got some full boxes, half boxes, and quarter boxes. And then this one here, I thought this one was fun. So here's some more headers here with some other stuff on it. Here's some more of your checklists on the side here, the scallop, scallop boxes, dates. I've got the dates here in case you want to renumber the page. Some more of the little deco. I put some little bows in here, and then I got some moods. So for the week, you can decide if, if you want to track your mood. I've got some little mood pieces there. Oh, and there's a movie one right here. And that is it. So this is the August kit. Set that one off to the side. And now here is September. So for September, because it's school, supposed to be a school, whether you're homeschooling or you're going back to school school, this is still um, ap applicable because, you know, school is going to happen whether it's at home or in the public. It doesn't it doesn't stop the school from happening. So this I thought was a cute kit for September. Let's see what I, so I've got Pip again in here and a bunch of little school things. I don't, you can't really see it, but she's actually on the bus. She's right there in the middle. 
it's hard to see. When I when I made it on the big screen, it looked amazing, but then when I shrunk it down to put it on here, it's like, oh, I can't really see her anymore. But anyway, there she is. Same same format. Here is your top washi with your dates, your date covers, more of all the same, and then a full page of washi. And on this one, I did her on the computer, and then I've got the little buses driving along here. So there is that. And then I'll show you the monthly, which is, I'm not going to go through the whole, what everything is, because you can tell. <laughs> yeah, I just told you on the last one, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to go over it again, but here's your full boxes. And I think that this is really cute. I put the um, overlay on top of this so that everything is kind of muted up behind it. And there's actually hearts on all of these, like a checklist, so you can write over the top of this. This is on matte paper, so it's really easy to write on. Um, and then I put a couple of little inspirational things on here for your full boxes. Here is your bottom washi. Maybe you can see her better. Can you see her better in that one, in that bus? <laughs> She's right in the middle of the bus. Anyway, there's your bottom washi and all the other goodies here. This one, here's your full page of stuff. Again, I put the stuff so that it's easy to write over it, but you still have the deco in the back. Here is the page with all the goodies on it, mood board and all of your trackers, and hey, <laughs> that's funny. I gotta fix that. See, this is a good way to look at that. See, I'm missing my hearts right there. That's okay though. This is mine. So here's this one, and then your washi. This one's got like first day of school, Labor Day, but then I kept the rest of it the same just to put some of the important stuff in there. Some more of this, it's colored the same as the kit, and some washi. And then your sidebar, your nope not todays, and all of your deco. So that is that kit right there. Now I'm just going to kind of quickly show you this right here. So I made some little, <laughs> little icons here. So here's some birthday ones. And then I've got her with her cake and ones with her present. Just to mark your birthdays. I have two of these. Here's the moods. So there's going to be one where you can like have a whole thing of them. Here's my little health ones. So this is the mask mask up ones. Here's some study ones. You can tell that these ones kind of go with this kit right here with this back to school. Um, these are gonna go to my granddaughter. So here's the study ones and I've got her reading with her book and on her computer. This one is the scheduler. Here are classes. And I will change these up depending on what her classes are. This is an extra one for the academic planner so that she will have, I'm talking about my granddaughter again, so that she will have all of her headers for the different classes and what's due, quizzes and tests and what she needs to read and I left space for her to write whatever it is that needs to go in there. Here's her reading books so that she can mark when she needs to read. Here's her get it done which is the she almost looks like she's buried. <laughs> she's got like so much work to do but this is like get it done. And then the post-it notes, so she can put her post-it notes in there. So that is everything that I have been working on lately. And now I'm going to, we're going to start working on the monthly um, and see how this fits, see if it works. Okay, so I'm going to get started with this. I did not um, realize that I was going to be doing August, a monthly page, because I did the weekly spread page and loved it. And, but I had already, let me see, I had already done this. So my August is already done, and I love it. <laughs> I think it's beautiful. This is a kit that I got. Um, if I can remember exactly who I got it from, I will link it below. But I love this kit, and this is the monthly, and I didn't want to um, go over it. So August is going to get redone on January, because January I didn't do anything on the month of January so I'm gonna redate it anyways so it's gonna be just fine except I should probably look and see what day the first starts on <laughs> so that I don't so the first is on Saturday gotcha and it goes all the way to the 31st easy peasy so I'm going to start with obviously the washi and I'm gonna close this just to make my life easier so hopefully, this is all going to fit. I'm going to turn it around. I know, upside down. I apologize, but otherwise you're going to have my head in the middle.
All right, so that fits nicely at the top. Then we'll do this side here. And this one I added a to-do instead of it just being blank because now I'm covering it all the way from one end to the other and I added the to-do list. Here it is. There. Now I can open it back up because it doesn't need to be upside down anymore. There's that. Now I will just speed through this part so I won't make you sit through it but I'm gonna put all my date dots down no wait I'm not we're gonna do that last I'm sorry rewind I want to put down my boxes first because my date covers are gonna actually cover my boxes so we don't want to do that so I've got all these different little boxes full boxes here so we're just gonna go through and figure out exactly where they're gonna go so with any amount of luck this will actually fit <laughs> I'm gonna actually flip this over so I don't have any real rhyme or reason as to where my boxes are going to go. They're just going to go. Ooh, that's nice. Typically I work the second half of the week. So I'll probably put a lot more stickers on this side than that. Well, I mean on that side than this side because I'm working on those days, so, you know, there's not a whole lot going on on those days, except work. There we go. And I think she is just so dang cute. She's so cute. So I really, really, really do want to know what you guys think. So I am just going to be a tiny little shop. I'm not doing anything gigantic. I probably won't even have a whole lot, like a whole entire, you know, hundreds of things for you to choose from because I just, I just won't. I'm, I'm a, just me. <laughs> me, my one little printer and my one little cutter. But I'm having fun doing this and, but I don't, definitely do not want to put it out there until it is, you know, acceptable. I obviously don't want to put something out there that people aren't going to like or that are, you know, I don't want to get my feelings hurt, <laughs> basically, by putting something out there and having everybody give it a bad review. So I'm being kind of a chicken about it, but I probably will try to get um, things going and actually working um, by the end of the year, hopefully. That's my plan anyway. That's okay. It's a little bit crooked, but that's all right. So again, I hope this doesn't bother anybody that I'm using this planner. I know everybody's really sensitive about this. I am definitely not happy with the situation. But like I said, I cannot afford, like most people, I really can't afford to start over. Not right now, so I will have to just carry on. But I did know that... Um, I believe that the Recollections one, this will work with, and that other one that I mentioned, the um, Plum plum Planner. I went and checked that one out, and um, it's actually not that bad expensive-wise, but I spent so much money on this one that I have to finish this one out. I can't really can't justify buying a whole nother planner just because I'm irritated. Um, okay, so now I'm going to speed through the date dots so that you don't have to watch that. Okay, so all the date dots are on, everything is done here, and I thought, since I have these little extra things and then these double days down here, that I would put my washi, my little washi strips to good use. So up at the top, I want to use like one of the quarter inch ones. So I'm just going to put it across here just to cover up my extra little numbers here and make it look cute. There we go. And then I've still got that side there, so we'll do another one. 
since I have all this washi to use, I'll use this one. I'm gonna close this guy up, make it a little easier for me. I feel for the people who do the plan with me's. I'm trying to, I'm learning, I'm learning, but I'm realizing how hard it is to do this and not have your head <laughs> in the middle of the whole process here. There. So then that took care of that. Then I was kind of thinking that maybe we could split the days with the washi as well. So that way, like, I don't know if I want to do it this way. That'll work. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> Back to this. Okay, so on this side, since I didn't really make um, anything, but I do have the washi strips, I thought I'm going to put one of my washi strips right here at the top because it kind of matches where I have the to-do part. It's like it's just like an extension of it. And then I think I'm just going to use this washi right here to kind of break up after each one of my lists of things to do. So usually what I have here, so I've got my to-do here, and the next thing that I'm going to put is like I have my this week. So I've got my to-do, and I put down my this week. Oops. You know what? Again. Gosh. I will get used, I'll get better at this guys, I promise. Because what a disaster would this be for me to do this every time I come out with a new kit and it be this unorganized. Then we're going to go with this week. Hopefully I don't have very many to-dos. Well, like I said, <laughs> I'm not actually using this. I'm using the one that I already finished. This is just to see if the kit fits and what I need to fix. So there we've got this week. And we've got next week here. Actually, let's put it lower. And this week, next week, another washi strip. I like this idea of the washi strips because I can design these all day. They are so fun. But I don't have to like pay for manufacturing of a whole roll for like the whole two people that I have to make kits for, like my mom and my, <laughs> my sister. Anyway, um, the rest of these can go. So this is kind of made, my idea for this kit was to have it in conjunction with the monthly kit because there's always going to be so much left over in the monthly kit. Um, I mean, sorry, the weekly kit. Um, that I didn't add like stuff like deco and things like that because when you look at the weekly kit, there's so so much deco. I mean you will, there's so much stuff on here. So it's kind of my idea for this kit here was to kind of have them go together, you know, as like a, a group. And then that way you can do your your monthly page and then use some of the extra pieces from the weekly kit because it's really hard unless you spread this out between two weeks to actually use all of this. So just that's where my head was when I was making this, which is why this kit doesn't have a whole lot to go with it. But we've got all these little extra headers that can go in here, and I've still got my half boxes, which can go in here. So kind of depending on where I have things planned. Right now I'm just making stuff up as I go because I have nothing planned. You can put these in. So if you have like birthdays, um, appointments, Stuff like that. You can add the boxes in. And then you can add the little deco or if you have the icon sheets or something like that, you can add in whatever you need to add to make it look awesome. So there's all that. Then like Remember, the top of that box you can use like this one. So I'm actually on vacation this day, so I could put vacation right here. 
I've also got the work icon. So this is my little book of like little things that I add. So um, like all this stuff. So my work days, I would add my work days in here. Paydays, add paydays in here. Anything that I needed to do, posts, any stuff like that. And then of course I've got all my little my little icons in here. So those are all things that can also be added to these. And then up here, since you have extra space up here, you got tons of extra space. You can also, because this happens every month, whether you, um, there's always going to be days that are blank like this. So you can do this pretty much every month. So we've got like, put some headers at the top of these empty boxes. So there's I got a wish list. I've got a, my listening to. So this is a good place to put lists of things. Oops, that little piece of washi I cut off. And then organize. Now I kind of think I want to use this page. Maybe I'll have two two Augusts. And then projects. I wanted to use these headers so that you guys could see them and tell me what you think. Like if you think I need to add any to here or if there's something that looks like, you know, like I totally forgot. Please let me know what I forgot. I feel like I... Um, this one is a to buy, which I think should go over here in case. We'll stick that one over there. Then we still have, oh, I've got one little piece of deco on this one because I had some space for it. And that'll probably happen every month if I have space. An extra little deco piece on there. But like I said, there's tons of this deco in the regular kits as well. So I've got a watching. So if you want to watch something. I've got a uh, reading, so I've got listening to, so for like podcasts, reading for books, I'm currently reading all of the Expanse series books, I just finished the first one, Leviathan Wakes, next one is Caliban's War, so I can put those in there, and then you've got things like goals, so goals can go you can pretty much put these anywhere you want. I'll put it here. Just because I want to put all these down so you can see them all. This one, important, is going to go here. So I know I'm missing like birthday and stuff like that, but I was kind of thinking that these would be, could be on the place for birthdays. Like, so as an example, my daughter's birthday is on the 14th and then I stuck that there so <laughs> we can't use that for there but oh well it was a nice try all right and then to do so there's all everything plus you still have all this washi so you could definitely keep decorating each one of the boxes by putting little strips of washi in there because you still got all this to use so there is everything for the monthly kit that I have so far and please leave me comments let me know what it is that I'm missing I know I'm not super chatty I don't really have a whole lot to talk about all I'm doing is working every day and when I'm not working I'm here working <laughs> so this is pretty much what's keeping me occupied this summer um, and hopefully uh, you guys like this and you can give me some feedback on it and I will talk to you again real soon thanks bye